Hi everyone and Merry Christmas! My holiday tutorial series was called White Christmas, but I completely forgot that I had a sentiment stamp that perfectly matches the topic. So I could do nothing else but create one more bonus project. To begin with, I've die cut a snowflake lettuce frame by Poppy Stems out of white cardstock. I will also need a scalloped circle and a matching plain circle die to create a scalloped frame. I've die cut the same scalloped circle out of vellum and now I'm going to silver emboss my sentiment. I'm using Versafine Clear Embossing Ink and uh, Silver Embossing Powder by WOW. All the supplies I'm using are listed on my blog. The link is in the description for this video. Sweeping off the excess powder with a brush and then heat setting it. I'm using tacky glue by Scotch to attach the white frame to the vellum circle. Then I'm applying the glue again only behind the white border and attaching the circle onto the snowflake background. Now I'm using the fine tip scissors to trim off the snowflakes behind the vellum. This way the frame will stay attached, but the area behind the vellum is going to be clear. I will attach another scalloped circle frame at the wrong side to cover up all the mess. I'm positioning my lacy panel over the card base and tracing the corners on the inside as I'm planning to create an open frame. Then I'm connecting all the corners with a pencil and I will use a paper trimmer to cut out an opening. I'm positioning the slider so that the arrows at the top and at the left side are aligned with the pencil lines. And I'm uh, cutting along to the point where the arrow meets the next line. And I will repeat this process for all the remaining sides. Now I'm applying my liquid glue around the perimeter of the snowflake frame and sticking it to the card base. The nice thing about liquid glue is that you can reposition the die cut before the glue dries. And now you see that I have placed the panel upside down, but luckily I've noticed it before it was too late. I'm going to attach this cutout left from the frame to the inside of the card base, just to give it some uh, extra stiffness. I have used a rectangle die to create those nice pinpoint borders. I'm using those poinsettia outline and background dies to create some leaves for the flower that is going to be my focal image. I'm just sticking the two pieces together with the liquid glue and giving them a slight curve. Now I'm drawing a kind of wonky triangle shape and then I will cut it out. This will be the base for my flower. These sequins are called white flower blossoms, they are by cat scrappiness. These ones are cup shaped, which is perfect for creating the small flower clusters. What I'm going to do is to pick up a flower sequin with the tweezers, then I'm picking up a tiny amount of hot glue right from the nozzle of the gun, and then I'm attaching it to the flower base. I will attach all the flowers like that, one by one. The hot glue dries instantly and is very strong, so it uh, really helps to save tons of time here. It also allows to overlap the flowers when I need to. 
So I keep attaching flowers, making sure I cover up all the edges of cardstock and no white is showing through. When I'm done with the flowers, I'm attaching the leaves and a little die-cut branch, again with the hot glue. Then I'm sticking this whole flower to the snowflake base. It's important to place a non-stick surface underneath. I have just used the acrylic block. This sequin mix is called uh, Little Boy Blue. It has different sequins and seed beads in it, but I'm only going to use the tiny shiny stars to attach to the center of each snowflake. And here is my card finished. This turned out to be a really sparkly one. Here are some more tutorials that you might like to watch. Thank you so much for visiting today. Have a very Merry Christmas and a Happy and Bright New Year. Hope to see you all again really, really soon.